Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome day, or at least trying to, given the current world status. This is actually the first video that I'm filming since all of this crazy coronavirus stuff has been happening. But it's actually perfect timing because since we've been stuck at home and, and I've been working from home as well, I've been focusing a lot on my skincare. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the brand new Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. Before I go any further with this video, I have to let you guys know this is a sponsored video from Ole Henriksen. It actually was such a perfect situation because I was able to try this product before it launched, do a seven day before and after like photo session, make sure that I liked the product before I even committed to this video. I'm gonna be sharing this before and after photos with you in a few minutes. First, I want to tell you a little bit about the product. So a lot of you guys probably remember that Ole Henriksen has a few other Banana Bright uh, branded products. There is the super popular Banana Bright eye cream, and then they also have the Banana Bright face primer. I did a whole video on this guy, so I'll link that up there if you're interested. And of course, if you've used any of those products, you know that all of the Banana Bright products have that kind of yellow tint to it, which is meant to really help brighten your skin immediately. But with the vitamin C serum, they're combining that like yellow brightening effect also with vitamin C. Vitamin C is really well known for brightening your overall complexion and helping to fix a lot of age spots and dark spots and acne scarring as well. It also has 5% PHAs, which is, I'm gonna butcher this, polyhydroxy acids, which is a plumper alternative to AHAs, which are often in a lot of serums, and it helps to refine skin texture. Plus has hyaluronic acid in it, which is perfect for hydration. And I know there are a hundred other brands doing this vitamin C trend. Yeah, I'm actually looking at the Drunk Elephant C Firma Vitamin C Day Serum. This one also has 15% vitamin C, but it doesn't have the PHA, and it's almost $30 more expensive than this Ole Henriksen. Also looking at the Sunday Riley 15% vitamin C brightening serum. So again, similar ingredients, but this one is well over over a hundred dollars. It's actually 162 Canadian dollars. And this Ole Henriksen one is only 65 US dollars. So I would say this is definitely the most cost effective for the ingredients that you're getting. As for the claims of this Ole Henriksen product, it says get brighter and bouncier skin in just seven days. It targets all major signs of aging, including dullness, fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, and uneven texture. Plus with hyaluronic acid and PHAs, it delivers the essential hydration your skin needs to look and feel plump. And then like I already mentioned, it's got the yellow tint to it. So it's gonna give you that immediate brightening effect. And I'll actually, I'm gonna show you right now. So here is what it looks like on the back of my hand. You can see it definitely has that yellow tint. And then once you blend it out, it just immediately brightens everything up. Here you can definitely see the difference between the hand that I have the product on versus my bare hand. It just gives like this beautiful radiant glow. Plus it smells like oranges if you like that scent. Before I put it on my face and show you how I like to wear the product every day, especially now that I'm not wearing a ton of makeup, I wanna show you my results from the seven day trial that I did. So here's my before picture. I'm not wearing any makeup or skincare. And now I will show you my after photo. So I use the product every morning and every night for seven days straight. And these were my results. I think you can tell that my skin is just overall brighter and more even. Even some of like little tiny freckles that I had on my cheek are much more faded. And of course, I didn't really have bad or super aged skin to begin with, but I don't think you can argue that my after photo just looks so much healthier. Both photos were taken in exactly the same lighting at the same time of day. And yeah, I'm just super pleased. By the way, I just have to say, it's been like five more minutes and you can just, you can still see the glow on my hand. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I put this product on during the day. Of course, when you put it on at night, it's the same thing minus, you know, putting makeup on over top. So I like to take just like one pump and then apply first, almost like under my eyes and then out and then just kind of cover the rest of my face. This is, to me, the perfect type of under makeup base because it's not creamy, it's not greasy, and it's not 
thick. It's not going to interfere with the foundation on top. You can also put it down your neck because necks are not immune to aging. If I want to be like extra glowy, I'll take just a little bit extra and tap it on right to the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm telling you guys, this immediately sinks into my skin and it is completely dry to the touch. There is no grease, there is no tackiness anywhere. And that is one of my pet peeves about just serums in general and why I don't tend to use them is because I already have oily skin and I hate that oily, tacky, thick, feeling on my face. This does not do it, I promise. So for me, I feel like this just gives me such a really pretty, almost glass skin look. And my skin itself just feels plump, almost like I drank like a liter of water. So because I've been working from home, I have been putting on just like a little bit of makeup so that I don't look totally tired and washed out for my video conference calls. So this is usually my first step. And then I will go in with just like a tiny bit of concealer. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer. I'll just do like a couple little dots underneath my eyes. I've already got a little bit of color correction going on just because I did pull up the vitamin C serum underneath my eyes. The serum would pair really nicely with the Banana Bright under eye cream as well. So that makes me look a little bit more awake. Then I will do a little bit of brow gel. Now I'm taking this Maybelline Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Lush. This is just like super quick and easy. And with my fingers, just to give me like a little bit of extra color on the cheeks. And to finish it off, a little bit of lip balm. This is just Blistex. And that's kind of it for my everyday makeup routine recently. I find that because the serum has that yellow tint to it already, I can kind of get away without wearing foundation if I'm having a decent skin day. But like I said, if you wanted to wear a foundation over top of it, it dried down completely. It's not going to pill up when you put a foundation on top. So it's perfect either way. I tend to not put a moisturizer over top of this because with the hyaluronic acid that's in it, I feel like it's kind of a two in one, but you can put your regular moisturizer over top of this if you want to. And if you are going outside still, definitely don't forget an SPF. All right guys, so that is my take on this brand new Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I hope that it was helpful for those of you who are interested in this product or you're looking to just get started with some basic anti-aging skincare. Because you can use this day and night, it's just kind of like a good all-in-one, plus the added benefit of the uh, Banana Bright Color Corrector. Also just looking for a super glowy primer that just stays glowy even after it dries down. Look no further. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have the product listed down below. At the time that I'm filming this, it's actually the Sephora Spring VIB sale. So if the sale is still going on when you're watching this, you may be able to get a discount off this product. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.